Yeah, Dixby, today, thanks for being with us. Thanks for focusing on us uh, this evening as we work as, we're working on our focus this evening as well. See if we can't boost our concentration on our next guest is a multi-award winning neurologist and best-selling author as well with a passion for health and education. Please welcome to the show Dr. Sveta Zatia. Thanks so much indeed for being with pleasure, us. Pleasure. Really kind of you to be with Absolutely. us uh, because you're here. You, I'm going to ask for some help if oh, that's sure. all right. Absolutely. Because I've been doing what I always do which is just nod and, and, <laughs> and, and, and sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. But um, there was a phrase that Arsalan used a little bit earlier on which mm -hmm. I nodded to and said mm -hmm. and, and, and pretended I understood. Mm -hmm. Neural plasticity. Right. It's a big word, and I'm, I've got to be honest, I don't really understand it. What, what, what is our neural plasticity? Brain is just plastic, you know, you can make it whatever you want to. Oh, you can form it. Oh yes, you can form it. So, so let's go back a little bit, you know, I joke and I say I'm a brain plumber, aka I fix broken brains, but I think that's not a good job, you know, that's not a very pleasant day job. What is really exciting is to build that brain, and that is where neuroplasticity comes in, you know. So it's very interesting that we, accept the brain as is oh i'm stressed and then you know i'm broken mm. and i can't do this but that's completely a no-no because we can build the brain so when we do the right things arsalan was talking about you know the nutrition focus mindfulness exercises we do build that brain mm. that building the brain is neuroplasticity so is the is is the brain a muscle can you can you work it or not? Well, let's let's talk a little bit about the brain. Brain. Do you guys want to guess how many neurons does a single brain have? Oh, I, and I'll, I have I'll a, know that one. Have you a brought a brain? I, I, I got a little brain with me. Today. <laughs> Would you want to guess what is the total number of the brain cells that a single brain has? Are we talking about how many brain cells I have just or one. like someone else? Just, no, just one single brain. <laughs> you don't want to borrow other brains, other brain cells, but yeah. What is the guess? What is the rough guess? Okay, our selling go for it. I'm not I, doing I, this. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to be completely Billions. Billions. It's yeah. roughly about 86 billion Wow. neurons, trillions of synapses, the memory capacity. If I want to draw all the memory from this brain, I would have to stack up an entire Burj Khalifa. It is 2.5 petabytes and one petabyte is a million gigabyte. So if I have all these wonderful things there, why am I not performing? Mm. That is the key. Why am I not performing has two simple reasons. One is because I don't understand it. What should I do with it? So to your question, is it a muscle? Well, it's a very, very complex and sophisticated orchestrated muscle and we need to really <laughs> understand the basics of it so that you know we can do it right we can mm. do the things right there are four fundamental brain waves as i'm talking to you guys as i was excited and coming here it's beta it's all beta 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 as i close my eyes and i sit i go into something called alpha and as i go a little bit deeper let's say i'm meditating or just before i go off to sleep there's something called theta and then when I fall asleep, it's Delta. Now, you were talking about that, Tom, that we live in this distracted world. We live in this, what I call the hyper beta world. Mm. Everybody is all the time going, going. My yeah. beta is fighting, fighting. So technically we live in a beta fried brain world. Oh. Let's put it that way. Love that. <laughs> and, and we really need to move from beta to go into, I ask this question to a lot of people. And I, by the way, I do see patients as well. And I run a lab called Limitless Brain Lab because you want to get all the limitless potentials through the neuroscience. Very simple question that I ask to people is, in a single day, how many times do you produce your alpha? Which is simply closing your eyes and sitting. And the answer comes, never, never, <laughs> or sometimes under one minute, under two minutes. Now, if you want to build a muscle, I don't tell a deltoid or a bicep saying, hey, build it, you know, biceps, I want, to, I want it to grow. What do I do? I work for it. So if I want to build my alpha, I need to close my eyes enough in a day, which is five to seven minutes, which is nothing but type of meditation, let's put it that way, and build that alpha. Most of the times we are in this alpha and theta deficit. The world is going through that. So my simple, simple and humble uh, this to every single person is spend at least five minutes breathing well. We don't breathe well because we breathe from the superficial chest and we're not serving ourselves. Kai was talking about the balance, right? The balance between the paras, oh, it means I was attending, right? <laughs> My attention was good. So be balance between the parasympathetic and the sympathetic system, right? We are continuously firing our sympathetic, sympathetic stress, all the things, all the time. My heart is racing, my breathing is super fast. That's not helping. All I need to do is get back my honored brain. How? By breathing right, by eating right, by sleeping right. There was a statistics which I was reading and you guys will be fascinated by that statistics. If I don't sleep a single night, let's say for a week under five hours, so I sleep less than five hours, in an entire week. I lose 
711 genes permanently. My genes for expression for heart, my genes for expression for cholesterol are lost for good. Yeah. Imagine the night outs, what is the cost of that? I, I can't imagine. I sleep at 9, 30, 10, so I think I've got that under control. But yeah, just a couple of quick, um, quick tips from you on mm -hmm. what we can do on a day-to-day -day basis, again, to reduce. You said breathing. I, we're not talking about napping here. We're just talking about relaxing, actually closing our eyes. Yes. You said five minutes. How often in a day? Beautiful question. So uh, we have devised at the lab something called movers. It's a very, very simple thing for people to understand, right? M stands for meditation. O is ocean breathing or oxygenation. Let's put it by deep breathing. We are also enhancing the oxygen. V is visualization. So, you know, I want to visualize and clear, be clear on what I want next. What is my week looking like? What is my month looking like? What is my year looking like? And then those little dopamine check boxes. The moment I put a checklist and I am checking all of it, I am, what I'm doing is a reward to my brain, which is dopamine. E stands for exercise, moving. I think Kai was also talking about it. Very, very important to move. R for reading. And reading what? Getting up in the morning, I call it the delta to beta state. I'm asleep. The moment I wake up, I start browsing my beta, 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 my, my mobile. And what is happening is I'm again firing my beta brain. So reading, reading what? Reading something affirmative, reading something positive. And the last one, scribing. Writing out all that is negative. Just, you know, dumping it away, what is bothering you. It's like a catharsis, you let it go. Five minutes each of that would roughly be about 30 minutes wow. in a day. So, the, when just, when I'm, I'm interested in the sleep aspect mm -hmm. of it. There's so much out there about sleep and what is optimized sleep or no, because we're talking about optimization yes. here. What is the optimized definition of good sleep? See, the sleep has to go through certain stages. There are two important stages. One is called the non-REM and second is called the REM, rapid eye movement and non-rapid eye movement. Now, technically we need on an average eight hours because I want the first four hours to be non-REM and the last four hours to be REM. That cycling is very, very important. Let's say if I sleep late, uh, like she said, I don't go to bed at 10 and I go to bed at one, I lost the non-REM, which I lost it for good. And if I wake up too early, I lose the REM. So ideal is about eight hours, roughly. It's a, it's a range, seven to nine. But I should be able to cycle that. And very, very important, before I go to sleep, I think this is the most, most important time that we often miss. It is called the theta state, where I want to really work on myself, not with the blue lights and not with all the shining stuff around. I really need to get into that state because that is the time when I can optimize my health, I can optimize my well-being. Let's put it that way. Doc, you are full of amazing advice and you have such yeah, great yeah. energy. Oh, you're one of my favorite guests for a long time. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on today. Well, before you can stay seated for just a minute there while uh, Amy's got something important to do right now. Do we need to shift the spotlight to someone? Yes, we do. It is now time for DXP in 60. Oh, I don't know why I'm holding that. It doesn't say okay. on that. But that's the name of the show, just in case you didn't know. And um, we're going to get to know you a little bit better, Aslan. So we've got some quick fire questions that we're going to do within 60 seconds. Okay. Are you ready? No pressure. Six seconds on the clock. Let's go. What was your first job? My first job was uh, in the cargo department in Abu Dhabi Airport. Okay, what's your motto in life and in work? Uh, no judgment. That's a good one. How do you celebrate small victories in your day-to-day -day life? Um, with my family, okay. with my daughter most of the time. That's lovely. My wife, yeah. uh, what are you most grateful for today? Um, I'm just grateful for health and wealth and peace and uh, uh, the safety and security that we live in. Most definitely. What well, song instantly lifts your spirits when you need a mood boost? Oof, that's a big <laughs> list. I can share with you my Spotify list if you want. To. That's good. We'll get, we'll, <laughs> we'll get that up on the social media later. <laughs> and how do you unwind after a busy day? Oh, uh, definitely some breath work. Definitely some breath work and getting into a certain space in my own cave, kind of like bringing the stress levels down so I can be the best person I can be for my family. Okay, and your top tip for peak performance? Um, just uh, be a little bit more conscious of your life rather than live unconsciously. Be conscious of the things and the factors in your life that stress you out and the things that, and the techniques that can take you out of stress so that you can be in optimal peak performance sustainably. 
Thank you so much. That's 60 seconds up. Thank you, Austin. I can't thank you enough for guest co-hosting. Thank you've you made very it, much. You've, 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 you've made it very calm. Thank it's you. been a very calm <laughs> episode. I bring the peace. I feel the stress <laughs> levels have gone down. That's good. Yeah, you're the peacemaker. I love that. <laughs> Thanks so much for being with us. Thank Dr. Dr. Adetia, thank you so much Pleasure. indeed. Uh, absolutely fascinating. Again, thank you for your input as well Pleasure. as the show. I uh, guess are going to be leaving us, but you stay with us. Need more focus just for another 10 <laughs> minutes. Vina Love will be playing us out. That's coming up next. <laughs>